here today with another Making It Monday, helping you to make something great. And today we are going to be making one of my favorite desserts, pumpkin pie cake. Got this recipe from a good friend of mine that I used to work with, Barb Eiffel. She actually, uh, it was her uh, good friend that she grew up with, Kathleen Nichols. She uh, created this cookbook for her when, after she died with all of her uh, good friend's recipes in it. And she made it to bring it into work one day and it was amazing. So I actually have to limit myself. I only make this once a year because I would weigh so much more if I made this more often because I could eat the whole thing. It is so good. So it's a great recipe for this time of year with the fall and my husband's birthday is in October. So it's kind of become a tradition that I make it once a year for his birthday. And his birthday is this week. So here we are making the yummy pumpkin pie cake. I can't wait. It is a little bit complicated to make, which is another reason why I don't make it as often, but it is so worth it. So. Here is the recipe. First, you preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and you lightly grease a 13 by 9 pan and then dust the flour on top of it. So I've already done those two things. You're gonna get a yellow cake mix just out of the box, and you're gonna take one cup of it out of the bag. I'm gonna try to do this without making a big mess. So I'm just gonna pour that into this measuring cup. And set that aside. And then you're going to take the rest of the cake mix and I'm going to put the egg in first. One egg in a mixer. Put the rest of the cake mix. And one stick of room temperature butter. I put it in the microwave for a few seconds because it was still a little chilly. Okay, so you're going to blend on low speed with the paddle attachment until well combined about one minute. I'm gonna take this and spread it out along the bottom of the cake. I remember it's kind of a tight fit. You have to get your fingers and just kind of mush it around so that it covers the bottom. So I'm trying to get every last little bit here for the most part. It's pretty stiff, so I'm going to just pour it in there. I'm going to moisten my hands a little bit. a few times and just keep spreading and we're going to call that close enough so it's all spread along the bottom of the pan there. Okay so now the next step is to make the filling of the pie which is where the pumpkin comes in. So let me look at my instructions make sure I do this right. So you need two cans, 15 ounces of pumpkin. Make sure you get the pure pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie mix. So put those in. Okay, two cans of pumpkin, evaporated milk, you need five ounces. This can has 12 ounces, so I'm going to measure it. So that's four, another one. Five ounces of evaporated milk, one cup of sugar, it's white sugar. teaspoons of cinnamon. One, two, oh, let's do that. Okay. So pumpkin evaporated milk, one cup sugar, three eggs, and cinnamon. We got it. Okay, blend on the low, 30 seconds until combined. And then go to medium speed and 
until it lightens in color and texture, and then two more minutes. So I gave that a good two minutes. It looks pretty well mixed. Out here. So now you just pour this over and spread it evenly over the base. This is, this is kind of like a three layer cake. So you've got the, the cake, it's like a yellow cake at the bottom, the pumpkin pie mix, if you will, in the middle, and then there's the cream plate. easier to pour and spread than the first layer as you will see. There's quite a lot of it. Okay, since the top layer is a dry layer, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this bowl out so it doesn't get mixed up with all this pumpkin and then we'll make the last layer. Okay, almost there. Last step for the topping, you need a quarter cup of sugar, that one cup of yellow cake mixture, mixture that we set aside at the beginning, and then half a stick of chilled butter. So four tablespoons of chilled butter, and then we're gonna just combine this until it gets crumbly. So you want that, that butter to kind of start to break up and kind of create a crumble mixture. Huge chunks of butter in there. Now it's starting to get crumbling. Oh, didn't too much. <laughs> okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think we'll stop it now. It's nice up and crumbly and you're supposed to put stir in chopped pecan. My kids don't care for the pecan so I usually put some with just this mixture on the top. They're missing out on the best part though I forgot to tell you. The nuts make it nice and crunchy and yummy. But we'll just do a little section like that and then uh, the recipe calls for one cup of chopped pecans. If you can't find them chopped in the store, then you can use a nut chopper. I used my Vitamix to mix them up. So I'm just going to stir those in to this mixture. And then we'll pour that over the rest here. to go. So this goes, it also it cooks for a really long time, um, between 70 and 75 minutes. So an hour, over an hour, like almost an hour and 15 minutes at 350. And it says, bake until cake no longer jiggles when you shake the pan and the pecans on top have browned. And then cool slightly and about 20 minutes and you can serve. It is really good warm, um, but it's also good cold. I do store it in the fridge and you can't have it without Cool Whip on top. You must, you must add the Cool Whip because that really makes, makes it great. So we'll, we'll share with you what it looks like when it comes out. But that's how you make it. Put it in the oven at 350 for 75 minutes. All right, here you have it. The finished cake. Doesn't look super, you know, fancy, but oh my gosh, it's so delicious. So let's see. We're going to cut a piece out here. I usually just do like square pieces. Let's see, well, the first piece is always the hardest, right? Get that out of there. And then of course you gotta have Cool Whip. Can't have pump anything pumpkin pie without Cool Whip. Ah. And there you go, pumpkin pie cake. Enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this and want to 
be up on all the great things that Ohio has to offer, whether it's people, places, activities, events, tips to make your life easier. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so you're notified every time I create a new video. If you are looking to connect and engage with other Outstanding Ohioans, make sure you join our Facebook group at Outstanding Ohio. And if you're looking to make a move or relocate to anywhere in the Akron or Cleveland area or the suburbs, give me a call and let's chat. Thank you.